All right, the most requested video and most wanted video and the hardest video for me to do. Everyone wants a new collection tour. Um, I find that the collection tours are nicer at the end of the year. This has been a really weird um, last six to eight months in the hobby for me. You're gonna notice I really reduced a lot of my numbers. Um, I had to sell some things off to fund the new puppy we got. Um, and similarly, I sold off a lot because I'm kind of changing things up. So, right now, my collection's in this weird spot of, like, transition. So, I don't think this is going to be as fun and exciting as you want. But I hope it is. Collection tours are really hard for me to film because my collection is in a temperature-controlled room. And I have to... There's literally, like, 30 minutes in a day I can film and have bright, bright light like this because the lighting in this room doesn't work, especially since they're in the far corner. And I literally get 30 minutes while the sun is in the perfect spot to hit this window. And even still, I think it'll be pretty dark once I load it up. But I'm hoping I can get through this and it's bright enough you can actually see. So without further ado, here is my artist resin tour. Excuse the dog in the background. Um, I'm not going to go through and say who every single resin is or I'll be filming all day long, but um, I will link my website and my Picasso album below. If you want to know what a resin is or who it was painted by or whatever, please visit one of those links because everything is there. Or you can comment down below and I'm sure myself or a viewer will respond to you. Anyways, all the horses on this shelf were sculpted by Sarah Rose. Um, I don't know why I have all her sculpts on here, but I just do. Sometimes I change it up. Sometimes I have them in by breed type. Other times I have them up here by sculptor. Just kind of depends on what I'm feeling at the time. Um, this is a random shelf. They are not all sculpted by the same person. These two are by Morgan Kilborn. They're two of my favorites. Then these three are by Tomlinson. They all kind of found their way into my collection. A little broken guy who's got to go get fixed. Mango, who's one of my favorite. Some micros, but that's not a micro, that's a Sarah Rose guy and I just didn't want him toppling over so he's hanging out with some of the micros. This is actually not an artist resin. This is a little knockoff briar. And some more randoms and a sticker by Amanda Brock. These are Sarah Mink horses. Now, almost everyone on this shelf was sculpted by Sarah or has something to do with Sarah. This horse right here was painted by Sarah, not sculpted. Same with this guy, painted by Sarah, not sculpted. Same with this dude. He was painted by Sarah, not sculpted. And this little man right down here. He was also painted and not sculpted by Sarah. The rest of these were sculpted by Sarah. Got a Dante hiding in the back, but he's hiding so he does not fall. Um, I think I have a few minks out right now, either getting updated paint jobs or new, were never painted and now getting paint. Some cubies and some mink medallions, one of my first painted cubies. Another all mink shelf, everything on here was sculpted by Sarah Mink. This is a China painted David, he is, um, China, but cold painted, so he lays down because if he ever were to fall, he would shatter. This is V2. If you have a V2 Valinor or Valkyrie, highly recommend laying them down. That leg will warp. Elsie and Oliver Conga. Elsie is one of my favorite molds by Sarah. Um, I have always spent so much time and lots of research to pick out the colors and artists for my guys. This one is my favorite. Um, actually these two are my favorite, but this is my most unique. She's a re-sculpt. Vixen and Imp are the other Sarah Minx Iconga. I have a couple of Vixens missing. 
and then imps this little guy sadly being copied and now this is where it's going to start getting really dark because I'm going to have to go so low to show you guys the shelf and the sun does not hit it as well. So these are um, random horses, mostly Spanish horses. Uh, these three are Everals, except for this gal is sold. Josine and two more Everals. This guy is a favorite in my whole collection. And two Fraley's because they are really big and they don't fit on any of the other shelves. Two cold painted HR's. Two little minks who don't have a spot yet on a mink shelf. And some random goodies. Some more stickers by Brock. And down here is just kind of a random shelf waiting to be filled in but it mostly holds my horses who cannot stand up because I don't want them to warp. That includes Cha-Cha. Again, really, you know, I always suggest laying him down to um, make sure he doesn't warp. These are going to be really dark because of where they are, but that is Cha-Cha. And then Enviado because I don't want him to tip or fall or warp. And that's Enviado. He's a lot prettier in person. Some randoms. And then this guy who is damaged and he will be waiting for new paint. That is my artist resin collection for now. Um, I will try and update it about mid-year this year, but you guys just kept asking and asking and asking for me to update it and I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update, um, updated collection tour. Like I said, check out my links below if you want to see more pictures of a certain horse, the other sides or anything like that. Um, you can send me video suggestions either, you know, through Instagram or whatever, through here, it doesn't matter. And I am taking video suggestions again. You can comment down below if you want the name of a certain horse, but like I said, um, the name is in like the mold name or the sculptor name. But I really suggest checking my website first because it's all there. Also, you can check me out on Instagram and on Facebook and you can send me messages on Facebook for um, like video suggestions, video ideas, things like that. But just be aware I'm not on Facebook 24-7 so I'm probably not the most chatty person out of some others on there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.